Good morning. I'm here with Dr. Ashish Sharma, and we're here today to discuss the MII RedCam. We met with Dr. Sharma uh, half a year ago to discuss this device, and since then there's been some new and exciting developments. Dr. Sharma, can you share a bit more about this device? Hi. Uh, it's again a pleasure uh, being on iWorld again, and first of all, I would like to congratulate for your 20th anniversary. You've been at, uh, you know, giving us wonderful news uh, every time. You're updating us. So regarding the MII RedCam, as I said, like it's a smartphone-based device, eye imaging device. It is portable. It is uh, lightweight, and I have. I'm carrying the box with me. So if you want to have a look at the box, this is the box. That's how the MI Red Cam comes in. So you can take it wherever you want. And uh, regarding the functionality, if we want to talk about what it can do, is it can take anterior segment imaging. It can take posterior segment imaging. And if I talk about the posterior segment imaging, there are few areas where MIRH cam is first in the world to capture certain areas. For example, it can take images up to the ora serrata and pars plana. And another exciting area is nowadays, a lot of people started imaging ROP with the help of MIRH cam. And we have been uh, getting a lot of good pictures regarding the pediatric images, for example, retinoblastoma. It's been an exciting year since we met last time at WOC. Uh, there was a time when the device was about to come commercially. And I'm pr uh, really happy to share that right now, the device is being used in 14 countries, apart from India, from where I belong. And uh, we've been getting these images, wonderful images from across the globe. And uh, uh, if we really, if I really talk about the country from where I belong, India, it's been uh, helping a lot on the ground level. For example, in my country, there are approximately 70% of the population lives in the rural areas, and the kind of healthcare delivery that we have in the rural areas, they do not have access to the fundus cameras because affordability is an issue. So. Since the availability of MI Red Cam is there, a lot of people from these areas, they started using in and with the help of our application, which is available on both App Store and the Google Play Store, they are able to transmit these images and they are able to take the consultations from the specialists. So that's where you know it has started making difference. So, But the use is not limited to the rural areas itself. If you talk about the urban areas in the high-end centers, institution, institutions, the main development that we have seen is our residents, they love it. They are preferring MI Red Cam compared to the ophthalmoscope because it gives them a visible documentation and it gives them to transfer the images to their consultants so that they can take advice even at the middle of the night. So it's been really, really exciting. It's been, uh, it's been helping a lot at the ground level uh, across the globe. So Dr. Sharma, it sounds like this device um, has a br very broad application ranging from teaching to uh, teleophthalmology potentially and helping improve healthcare delivery, especially in rural areas like you mentioned. What other kind of diseases um, have you been trying to image and can you tell us a little bit about those images yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. So what uh, uh, we did is like, uh, regarding if I talk about the entry segment, entry segment we have been taking images of the uh, Lids, we are taking images of the uveitis, anterior uveitis especially. In the posterior segment, if you start from the central retinal imaging, for example, CSR, DME, DR, and in the periphery, now in the way it's helping previously, whenever, because we have a good refractive setup here at my place. So a lot of people, they come in for the peripheral retina checkup before they go into the refractive surgery. So regularly, the practice goes in that you you know, you tell patient you have some hole, you have some letters, I need to do some kind of laser before it. But you had no evidence. But nowadays, whenever patients were coming to us, we were showing them that, okay, that's the hole that you have. And this is the letters that you have. These are some of the weak areas. We want to treat it before. So they gain a lot of confidence. So they are ready to get procedure done. So in that way, it helps. It gives, you know, more faith in us. And apart from that, off late, in OR, whenever you know retinoblastoma kids, they are getting treated. To have to have the documentation, you know what is the size is getting regressed or something. So that lot of you know images we are getting from there, from different different countries. And apart from that, if you talk about the ROP, we have recently started ROP imaging. 
this has been an area which we wanted to explore because the gap between the pricing is too much. So right. that uh, I would like to show you some images later if you if you want. Perfect. So it sounds like you have a very um, exciting device here that has a lot of applications. Um, could you tell the viewers where we can find more information about this device before we end? Yeah. So now the device is commercially available. So anybody who wants more information or want to order or so they can go online. The website name is www.miiredcam.com. Dr. Sharma, you've brought some photos from your device today. Um, let's take them. Let's take a look at those photos together. As we, uh, when we uh, had an interview last uh, WOC, that time we showed the central fundus images. But nowadays, you, we have further developed that you can see the interest segment imaging. And uh, this an another image that you can have a look here is the ROP image. You can see the vascularization end at one place, and there are no vessels after that. So this is an exciting area that has developed over the time. Definitely very high quality peripheral images. I really um, enjoy you sharing that. Thank you. Thank you so much.